Good afternoon. Um, I don't remember where we left off, but uh, I did take off the fender. I think I may have mentioned that at the end of the last video uh, that I may do that because of how difficult it was to get that core support out. Um, so I did remove that uh, that fender, which wasn't bad. I mean, that was pretty straightforward to do, and it opens up a ton of room for when we get ready to shove the LS in there. Um, I don't think I can put it in with the headers on. I'm hoping I can put it in with the passenger side header, uh, and then this will give me access to bolt up the, uh, the driver's side. But as you can see, that's already out. So uh, I am on a five day vacation from work um, for the next five days. So my goal is to have this thing running. It'd be nice to have it driving, but I'm not, I'm not gonna get ahead of myself at least running by the end of this break. Um, I got some other things going on, so it won't be non-stop work, but uh, I'm gonna put this down and work on unhooking the drive shaft, unhooking anything underneath that needs to be unhooked, cutting off the exhaust, because I don't need any of that, so that's all getting just cut. And then we're gonna come back when it comes time to pull it out. Because um, there's really nothing to show down there. I don't, like, I don't like filming under the truck because the lighting's terrible and it's hard to see anything. And, you know, terrible, terrible angles. For, for this so um, anyway we're gonna come back when that's all done and hopefully yank this out first of all empty bay I sold the Corvette uh, today it went it left this morning um, I just have time for it you know I have, I have too many other things going on but uh, I'll get something else cool but right now we've got the LS swapped S10 it's uh like I just said it's the next day it took a little longer to um, get this thing ready to pull than it should have. Part of that's because of me, you know, I took it slow. I was moseying around, listening to music. It is now ready to come out, I think. So let me switch this around here. So more than likely, uh, there's gonna be some stuff that snags or what have you that I gotta go back in and, and unhook. But for the most part, I think it's ready to go. I, I know that there's an alternator wire that I'll get once, it, once I pull it out far enough to easily get to. I know there's some ground wires to the bottom of the block. Starter wires I know are still hooked up. Those need to be undone. I believe, I don't know if you can see down here or not, but um, yeah, you can't see a whole lot. But I did get the drive shaft out. I started cutting the exhaust out. It was got out of the way. Um, I had some stripped bolt problems on the cross member transmission cross member that is so i got those out that took that took a lot longer than it should have for four simple bolts but they was all they was all rusty and stripped uh the heads were completely round but anyway i ended up getting those out and um yeah i think you can't see up there it don't matter but i think i got all the stuff unhooked i'm gonna try and take it out with the complete engine harness, I don't have to screw with any of that since most of that is being replaced with the current performance wiring harness that I picked up for the swap. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna set this up in a corner or somewhere, I don't know, and um, see if we can get this pulled out easily or if it's an absolute pain. What's your money on? I'm not sure yet. So let's get that moving. Little update, uh, halfway through the uh, removal process. It is a pain, it's an absolute pain. So first, uh, I don't know how much you can see in there. I had to remove the starter. I was, hoping to, I, I was hoping I didn't have to do a whole lot of removing on this just to get it out, but the starter kept hitting the motor mount. I couldn't get around it. So I just took out the, uh, what is it, two bolts? Yeah, I took out the two bolts and uh, let it fall to the floor. So that gives us more room. Um, now the problem is the bell housing of the transmission is hitting the motor mounts. It is a pain. Um, I'm gonna continue trying to get this thing out in one piece. Actually, better yet, it's gonna come out in one piece. But um, I don't know, I don't know how long it's gonna take. I may have to redo the uh, little chain setup to maybe give me a little more adjustability when it comes to getting this thing out I mean we're so close but the problem is I can only get it so high before it starts hitting the firewall and then it's just 
I mean, if I could take a sawzall to those motor mounts and just slice them off, I would, but I don't think that my little handheld one there is gonna be strong enough to cut through those, but I tell you what, if I gotta screw with it a whole lot longer, I'm probably gonna try that. So, uh, like I said, just an update halfway through this. Uh, we'll go back to the time lapse now, so enjoy. There it is. That was a monstrous pain. I don't know if it's just because I'm impatient or if I did something I shouldn't have done, but uh, that was an absolute pain to get out. So yeah, there's the 2.2 four cylinder that uh, has a big hole right there in the side of the block. Um, not sure what happened. Maybe ran out of oil and just kept going. I, who knows? Uh, but I got a buddy who's coming today to pick this up they want to use the transmission for something and then just take the engine apart just to learn how to take an engine apart. So, I mean, this is a perfect one to do it with, you know. I mean, it's small, simple, and uh, broken, so he can't hurt it. But anyway, yeah, so here is the carcass of the S10. So I'm going to, once I get all this stuff cleaned up, so that's the, that's the next step is, is cleanup. I, I can't stand the mess, you know. We're gonna move this over there somewhere uh, to wait for him to pick it up this evening. Then I'm going to start cleaning up the mess that the engine made, which most of it is just some foul smelling transmission fluid. I mean, it smells awful. I mean, it smells worse than gear oil. I don't know if it's been ran hot. Um, who knows, maybe the, maybe the trans isn't good uh, like I told him it was, but I don't know. It, it's Like I said, it's irrelevant. But, yeah, so we got to clean up this huge mess that it made because I didn't drain it before I started trying to yank this thing out of there. But So, I don't know what all you could see in that time lapse, but um, the issue I was having was the bell housing was hitting... Well, actually, let me back up. First, it was the starter, which... Um, actually, let me back up further. First, it was the uh, exhaust pipe, uh, which is down there, that was hitting the motor mount. Uh, so I decided, hey, just let's just hacks all that off, uh, or saws all it off, whatever. Uh, and then after we got that out of the way, then the starter was in the way, and and I couldn't get it around. I couldn't get it high enough to get the starter over the mount. I couldn't tilt the engine enough to get it over the mount. So I just took out the bolts and let it drop. And then the bell housing on both sides was hitting. That I was finally able to wiggle enough to get it around. Basically, I had to lift you know this side of the engine up higher until it was it's just a mess but i ended up getting it out you know um which is nice hopefully the ls goes in easier than that and how that came out and with the bigger motor i'm curious if i'll be able to shoehorn it in there or not uh, or if i'll need to put the trans in after the engine is in and i really don't want to do that because i hate laying down there on my back and doing it from the floor but if that's what I got to do, that's what I got to do. But we're gonna we're gonna try the other way. Um, I really don't know why it wouldn't work. But anyway, so yeah, I gotta get some of this stuff off of here. I'm gonna pressure wash it, and I'm gonna just you know give the frame here a quick little coat of um, probably use some undercoating and then some like engine enamel on top of that just to really protect it. Um, but yeah, I'll probably roll it outside. Maybe even take the wheels off so I can get the A arms uh, real nice or the control arms. I've only got just a few more days off in a row here. So tomorrow the plan, or let me say that the next video, which will be tomorrow, the plan is to get this outside, get it cleaned up, 
uh, start prepping this inside here to put the engine in. And that'll probably be the end of that video. And then we'll get the engine built and hopefully get it setting in there on the following. I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just kind of winging it at this point. Anyway, I think that'll do it for this video. I, it wasn't really exciting, but it was for me because that engine's out. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you think, but let me know what you think in the uh, comment section below. Uh, if you like this video, if you like this series, you want to see this truck done, please subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. And uh, until next time, thanks.